In this clip I'm focusing on extinction in relation to classical conditioning but it can also be applied to operant conditioning. So we know extinction has occurred when we present the condition stimulus on its own and it no longer evokes a condition response. So in the case of the Pavlov experiment after the dog had been conditioned to salivate to the sound of the bell on its own Pavlov wanted to test how long it would take for the dog to unlearn this behaviour. So what he did was he rang the bell and didn't present the food and see how long it would take, how many attempts it would take before the dog no longer reflexively salivated in anticipation of the food. And you can see here it took about six goes before the dog, like I said, no longer salivated to the sound of the bell on its own. And what I mean by six goes is six times Pavlov rang the bell without food and the dog progressively salivated less and less and less. Now extinction is sometimes a good thing. For instance, if you're using classical conditioning to literally remove an a maladaptive behavior such as gambling, alcoholism, smoking, even phobias. So in the case of say aversion therapy, the case of flooding, graduated exposure, etc. Extinction is the aim. We want to extinguish the addiction to cigarettes, to gambling, to alcohol, certain types of phobias that we'll look at in mental health. Okay, so extinction sometime is the aim of the therapy. A key aspect of spontaneous recovery is, well, you can't really talk about it without talking about extinction. So by definition, it's the reappearance of a condition response following a rest period when the condition stimulus is not presented. So best way to actually go through the process is to itemize it in four steps. Step one, the condition stimulus was extinguished by Pavlov, so i.e. He rang the bell and the dog no longer salivated in anticipation of the food. Extinction had occurred. There was a 24 hour time gap. And then after that day break, the conditioned stimulus is once again presented, sound of the bell, and there is that reflexive condition response, i.e. salivation in anticipation of the food. So therefore we conclude and we state that the condition response has been spontaneously recovered. And again, this might be a bad thing. If, let's say, you've used aversion therapy to get off a maladaptive behavior like smoking, etc., i.e. gambling, if all of a sudden you're exposed to smoking and all of a sudden, rather than having that an aversion to it, you actually enjoy the cigarette or the gambling or the alcohol, etc., then that maladaptive behaviour has been spontaneously recovered. More about this in a future clip. Let's go through a summary. In terms of the acquisition of the behaviour, i.e. the pairing of the neutral stimulus, the bell, with the unconditioned stimulus, the meat, it took a handful of these pairings before the dog would salivate purely to the sound of the bell, as indicated by the volume of salivation this stage of the experiment. So the bell was rung, the dog was salivate, would salivate, and then the meat was brought out. Then we get to trial number 16, and Pavlov no longer presented the unconditioned stimulus after the conditioned stimulus was presented. So he simply rang the bell, no food. Rang the bell, no food. And after six of these applications, the dog would no longer salivate merely to the sound of the bell. Then we had the rest period and once again the condition that stimulus was presented on its own and the behaviour, the salivation was spontaneously recovered. But key point here, note it is not as strong as the original conditioning. Compare where we are here in terms of the volume of salivation to up here. So even though the behavior was spontaneously recovered, it was no longer as strong as the original conditioning. And so on 
another rest period and once again there was some spontaneously recovered behavior but again a lot weaker than that original conditioning. If you'd like to access the slides from this clip or some other resources that I've created feel free to check out my website ecycvce.com no au cheers